All right, so this is my 2024 NFL mock draft. It's not good. This is not going to be good. This is a casual mock draft, all right? Before you flame me, keep flaming me. I don't care. Call me dumbass because I am a dumbass. But, again, I didn't really – I'm probably not going to go that in-depth like I used to because I'm not paying attention because I have work and I can't really fucking watch a lot. I don't have as much – well, I have free time, but I don't fucking spend it watching videos as much as I did back then. But whatever. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's start off with the draft. Caleb Williams going to the Chicago Bears, one of the best situations. Uh, the Bears haven't had a 4,000-yard passer, passing quarterback ever in their franchise, which is sad. The Bears have been around for almost, a hundred, I think, over 100 years. They won a lot of NFL championships, too, so, historic franchise. Caleb Williams, he's the next Patrick Mahomes. No, he paints his nails. I'm joking. He could be a great quarterback, actually. You know, he has a lot of the talent. I know he lost a lot of big games in college, but that Bears team is giving him a good receiving core of Moore and Keenan Allen, a veteran, and then you got Komet, and then they signed DeAndre Swift at running back. Um, they have a good core, and we'll see what happens there in Chicago. Um, uh, second overall pick, Cliff Kingsbury. If Washington had the first overall pick, this would have made the most sense because Kingsbury coached Caleb Williams. But uh, I think they're going to go with Jay and Daniels. Where is he? I think quarterback, 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 quarterback. Uh, so Jay and Daniels, I know he's ranked 21, but quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. Uh, a lot, a lot of athletic traits with his fucking elbow. He's gonna be scared throwing it to Dotson and Terry. Um, you know, Dan Quinn again wants to make a staple. All these guys, all these new coaches, except fucking Eberflus right here. They wanted to get their guy a QB. So yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So Jane Daniels again, a lot of athleticism, and LSU is gonna produce a lot of uh, players this draft too. All right, the Patriots, there's talks of them training down. I don't think so. I think they go QB, and he can learn under Jacoby Brissett, and Brissett learned under the Belichick, Patriot, Brady way, whatever. So I think maybe Brissett gets a game, he sucks, and they put Drake May. but Or Drake May's an instant star because Brissett's not that good. If you want, you want to tank, put Brissett in. But I don't know. Patriots don't really have that much weapons, but... It, Gerard Mayo's a new coach. Uh, again, another defensive guy. Uh, it was all written in stone. I knew Gerard Mayo was going to be... That's why he declined a lot of offers. I mean, not declined. Just That's why he didn't want to become coach. He, he knew he had the Patriots job once Belichick left. But, yeah. Uh, I got uh, Drake May going to the Patriots. Cardinals, Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to the St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> I'm going way back. Arizona Cardinals. Um, I believe this team is not like Jonathan Gannon. We all gave him shit. I gave him shit. I like, and we saw that he didn't motivate the guys in the video. But again, we don't know what happens behind the scenes. This guy could be the fucking expert motivator in front of the cameras. He's probably camera shy. Um, you know. But Jonathan Gannon, he did his fucking work, man. He got that team competitive games. Uh, you know, they beat Dallas last year. And then with Kyle Murray, they looked a little better. And now imagine having a generational receiver. Hey, that's that, that's wonders. Uh, the Chargers, Malik Neighbors. I think they get a receiver as well. They need a receiver. Um, Johnson, he, he didn't have a good rookie year. But he could turn it around. Again, he's still young. Receivers could turn it around. Unless their name is Jerry Judy. Um... And then get Malik Neighbors. LSU, just fucking draft guys out of LSU. If you're a receiver from LSU, you're going to usually succeed. Just LSU keeps pumping out these guys like it's nothing and lately. And, um, yeah, I just hope he is a bust, but he's a good receiver. LSU is going to pump out a lot of players. Um, Giants, I think they go Roma Dunza uh, out of Washington. He had a great season with... Uh, with, um, what the fuck's his name? Penix, Penix, yeah, yeah. And the Giants, again, their, their goal is not to go QB, which is uh, a little interesting, but uh, I think, again, they probably want to get weapons and build around the quarterback of the future, So, and they don't see that they have a quarterback 
in mind in this draft, I guess. Um, the uh, the uh, Tennessee Titans, yeah, they have Will Levis. They have to protect him. Joe Alt, uh, good pick up there, and uh, out of um, out of Notre Dame. So yeah, good job, good pick up right there. Um, the Falcons, they need a defensive player. Uh, I think they go. They say they need D line corner. Cooper, maybe they go Cooper DeJong. Fuck it. If they need a corner, Cooper DeJong is one of the best corners from uh, Iowa, and um, you know, can can't uh, can't have enough secondary help. And uh, you know, Mathis is a he's a defensive coach. So there you go. I think he'll do one. He'll do wonders. I'm joking. Um, the Bears, D line receiver. Uh, I don't know why they need a receiver. I don't know. Uh, D line Lati Latu um, from LSU. I mean UCLA. I don't have my glasses on. I'm stupid. Um, I think he goes to the Bears, and they have a solid draft with Williams and Lati. Lati. He's been spiking up. Uh, if George Payton had the ninth pick, he'd probably pick him because he loves his uh, UCLA guys. All right, and um, on the clock is. Uh, the Jets, they need a receiver, tackle, D-line, safety. They got a tackle, um, and Smith. I know he's old, but, you know, they're not going to draft a tackle right now. They have the 10th overall pick. I know they want to protect Rodgers, but they did upgrade the O-line. I mean, yeah, the O-line a little bit, so. Uh, safety, you know. They don't need a QB. Receiver. Uh, I don't. I don't think they'll go receiver. Cause they got Williams. I think Brock Bowers. Yeah, Brock Bowers. I want the Broncos to get him, but whatever. Um, Brock Bowers is a good is a good pickup. Another weapon for Rodgers. Garrett Wilson, Williams, Brock Bowers. I, I love Garrett Wilson. He's a good player. I don't know how he made Jack Wilson look good sometime, man. Um, all right, and. The Vikings, it's all but given that they're going to pick J.J. McCarthy, in my opinion. Because J.J. McCarthy's young. He can learn under Sam Darnold or whatever. And Sam Darnold's not even that old either. He's like in his mid-20s, I think. Um, but J.J. McCarthy, I think he he's not going to be starting right away. He's going in a situation with a good wide receiver duo, a good running back. And Aaron Jones, my God, a good coach. Just, you know, the Vikings have been a winning team. They haven't won anything in the playoffs. They only got to the NFC Championship game back in 2017 with a different quarterback. But they make Kirk Cousins thrived in Minnesota. And JJ can learn under O'Connell's system while looking at Sam Darnold and seeing what not to do, actually. So there you go. Um, the Denver Broncos at 12. I don't know about this, man. We just got Zach Wilson. We all know. Um, ho hopefully this mock draft doesn't age well. I mean, age bad, but... Um, I don't want a corner. I don't know why it has uh, center, center. I, I don't like foresight, but center's not like... You don't use a fucking 9th overall... I mean, 12th overall pick on a center. You usually use it in the second round. I think we trade down personally, but it, I can't trade down with this, so... Um, corner. I'm not. Uh, let me just look at the corners available. I don't know who this guy is. Out of fucking Toledo, Arnold, Nate Wig, Nate Wiggins. Yeah, Kool Aid. Fuck. I don't know. I I don't think they they say receiver because of sun rumors. I don't think they're going receiver. Fuck it. They're still going QB. I don't give a crap. I think that. <laughs> I don't know. I think they trade down and get Bo Nix. Fuck it. They trade down and get Bo Nix. And then the Raiders, I think they draft a quarterback in Michael Penix. Um, so just imagine the Broncos trade down with, uh, I don't know, the Colts or something or the Seahawks or the, the Bengals. They trade down with the Bengals or some team. I think they still get a quarterback out of Bo Nix or Penix. I think Penix goes to the Raiders. I like him. He led the team to the national championship. He has a solid arm. Just, you know, 
he got injured during the NFC Championship. I mean NFC National Championship game, so that that was tough. Whatever. Um, on the clock is the Saints. They need a tackle D line. I think they go tackle, and uh, they also need a new coach. Offensive tackle. I think they go with the guy out of Oregon. Yeah, protect the the QB. That's not Derek Carr next year. Um. I don't know why the Colts need a receiver. They need. I'll go, I'll go D back. I'll go. Let's go corner. Corner safety. Uh. No, let's go corner. 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 Let's go Arnold. Arnold's gonna go to the. All right. So the Seahawks need a guard, edge, linebacker, safety. I'll go guard, interior O line. I'm not talking that much about guards. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not the best. I'm not the best of that. Eh, he stays in the Pacific Northwest. Jackson Powers Johnson, J P J. You know, maybe he can convert to a guard if they need him. Um, or they can move the cent center to guard, whatever. Uh, Jacksonville they need a guard, edge, D B. I think. Edge, edge. I think they go, maybe they go Dallas Turner. Fuck it, Dallas Turner. That would be a great if they need another defensive end. Him and Josh Allen. Oh my goodness, that that's a good duo. I think they just add to their strength. They sign Josh Allen to get Dallas Turner. That would be a steal at seventeen, and uh, that would be a good move. I know Jacksonville. They lost Calvin Ridley. I don't think they need a receiver. They just signed Gabe Davis to replace him. Even though Gabe Davis is not better, but. Yeah. Um, the Bengals, tight end, tackle, D-line. Uh, this feels like this team needs a tackle every fucking year. So I guess I'll give them the tackle. Uh, I'll give Washington's tackle because they, they'll hate Penn State. And then, obviously, guess who needs a tackle here? Since Whitworth, uh, um, retired. Get the guy out of Penn State. Alright, now Pittsburgh's on the clock. Receiver. I think they need a receiver to replace Johnson. Um, let's go Brian Thompson Jr. out of LSU. Again, LSU is just a great receiver school. Um, they need a tight end, but again, the only good tight end in the first round is Brock Bowers. Like, yeah, so Sanders is ranked 43rd, even though i seen him with Texas. He's good. I'm sure there's good tight ends late, like in the second and third rounds, but teams are not going to be willing to the fucking draft of tight end in the first round if they're not like going to put up uh, any offensive numbers early. Um, they need a guard. Tackle. D-line. Let's go D-line. Fuck it. You know, Chubb's terrible, so... Oh, and they lost. They lo oh, yeah, they lost fucking. What's his name? To the fucking Wilkins. They lost him to the Raiders, though. I think they go. Yeah, Newton, D line. They, they, they need a D lineman. Um, the Eagles are on the clock. They don't need a receiver. I don't get this notion. They got Smith and A.J. Brown. Like, why do they need a receiver? <laughs> it's It's stupid. It's like asking. It's like asking, um, it's, that's just fucking, it's like asking the Texans if they need a receiver. Like, they got receivers. Linebacker, I don't think the linebacker is that deep in this draft class. Like, 30th, let's go Payne Wilson if they really need a linebacker. Go Payne Wilson. A little reach. Eight, eight picks, I guess. Even though these rankings are probably going to be shit and a lot of these guys are going to be busts. Um... They don't need a tight end. They had Hawkinson. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, let's go D back, I guess. Corner. Let's go Nate Wiggins, Clemson boy. All right, so the Cowboys need a running back, but they'll probably pick him in the second round. Um, Brooks. I think this guy's probably going to go to the... Crum is good. Jalen Wright. I heard him. He was good. Bucky Irving's good. The running backs again. 
I don't expect I don't expect one in the first round. So I Cowboys receiver center tackle. I think they go tackle because they lost Smith. Um, and they go J C Lartman. I think that yeah, the tackle class is really deep. Um, Cal uh, Packers t guard tackle D D line. Uh, I think they go D line. Go D line. Fuck it. Let's go Murphy. Byron fucking Murphy. That'll be a good pick. He's ranked 12th, so you know, add to that defense to the Packers. On the clock is the um, Bucks running back, tight end guard, edge. They lost Smith. They they I mean not Smith. Uh White. But the linebackers in the <laughs> not Nothing special there. Corner. Yeah, let's give them Kool-Aid. That'll be funny. I, I hope they sign TJ. I mean, draft TJ Tampa. Um, the uh, the Cardinals are on the clock. Receiver, we got that with Harrison. Center. Uh, we got interior line. Let's go with Zach Frazier, center. Out of West Virginia. Alright. They need a receiver. I think they go uh, Mitchell out of Texas. Um, this is where Jared Verse goes. He goes to the Lions. Just again, add some depth um, to the Lions D line. They're Super Bowl contenders still. Um, and they lost CJ, so maybe they go with safety in the second round. Um,. The flock, do they need a receiver? Probably because OBJ's gone. Uh, so let's go with Troy Franklin out of Oregon. Oregon had a great fucking season. Um, let's go corner for the Niners. And then the, the Chiefs, unfortunately, they won the fucking Super Bowl. It says they need to tackle D line. I think they go Ladd McConkey. No, and they go Keon Coleman. They go they re, it's not a reach cuz he was one of the best receivers out of uh they just missed the playoffs for the two. Even though I hate him go Clemson, but yeah. Uh yeah. So that was my draft, my mock draft. Again, casual, 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 casual. I'm a casual. I'm sorry. Uh I hope the real draft is not a shit. I'm still going to be watching the draft again. I can't wait till the draft on Thursday. Low damn it. All right, so this is my draft. Lot, of, lot of tackles. This draft is tackle heavy. Um. Again, I think the Broncos tra trade back and get Bo Nix still. I don't care about Zach Wilson, and um. I don't care about Zach Wilson or Jared Stim because those those guys are like one year rental guys. You know, you need a guy for long term, and Bo Nix. I know he's the same age as Zach Wilson, which is insane, but. He's talented. I love him. He did a good job in Oregon. JJ McCarthy, uh, he's a young guy that you know he can develop. And I think he's perfect with Minnesota. I don't know if Minnesota uh, goes up. Cooper DeJean, he's one. He's the best corner in the draft. So you know why not have a two-man uh, tandem with Terrell? Uh, that's pretty much it. How m Let me check all the schools that get drafted. LS. Well, how many LSU's? One, two. Uh, I think three LSU players. They're all, are they all fucking, yeah, all receivers. This, this I mean, no, no, Daniels is a quarterback, but LSU's going to get a lot of players. Same with Washington and uh, Michigan and Alabama every year, Georgia. Yeah, so that's my mock. Um, not that good, but again, I'm a casual. So, make fun of me all you want in the chat, in the comments, whatever. That's all I gotta say. Peace.